Welcome to this video about Aeroacoustics and the Aeroacoustic Analogy or Light Tails Aeroacoustic Analogy. Uh, Light Tails idea uh, was to investigate jet noise and looking at the far field radiation of the produced sound from kind of nozzle. So we have a nozzle where the flow is kind of streaming out into a kind of a jet, a fluid jet and the fluid jet to uh, produce some vertical and turbulent structures and this vertical and turbulent structures radiate sound and this radiated sound in the far field uh, was, the, was the subject of interest from Light Hill and he yeah, used as it was uh, was uh, prominent at, at his time he used the free field screens function to uh, yeah, capture or to prescribe this uh, radiation of the sound. Um, the thing is now what does his idea or the Green's function imply on his theory uh, is the following. So I think we have some fluid streaming out of a nozzle then we have some turbulent what you call jet and structure um, evolving after, after the nozzle and yeah these processes do generate sound. Then, then we have the volume. So it it, it implies that the that the presence of the of the nozzle in terms of the free field Green's function is, is is neglected. So the the, the streaming jet through the nozzle and then uh, exiting the nozzle uh, is more or less uh, not like this. That we have a kind of a zone where vertical structures and turbulences, uh, turbulent structures are present um, and these zones are then radiate sound and the scattering or any effects of the of the nozzle are neglected. Uh, this yields uh, him then into this kind of integral formulation of the of the whole uh, analogy uh, which is very efficient but anyway uh, based on his concept and his theory he had a very put a very interesting point uh, on on how sound is generated generated by, by by flow induced uh, processes, and he was able to derive a lot of uh, interesting stuff there. Um, so the solution to the nozzle problem that we actually would like to consider the problem itself uh, was then uh, carried out by Curl. Uh, he also did an integral solution and. He included solid bodies, so scatterers, um, by using general, generalized function theory and also a free field screens function. So in the sense, he kind of tailored the the PDE and then applied the greens, the free field greens function to it. And then uh, Curl's equation was able to include stationary surfaces as the second term there. Um, this was kind of the next evolution step of Light Hill's analogy and an additional step uh, was uh, then done by, by Fox Williams Hawking's analogy. Uh, they included the moving scatterers. So not only a stationary nozzle but now the nozzle could move and stuff like that. And now Based on this theory and light hills wave equation, one could either use an integral method for a solution, like it was derived by Light Hill Curl or Fox Williams Hawking's analogy, or one could use an equivalent method, simply uh, computing a numerical tailored screens function. Uh, like when using finite element method and use the local representation of light hills or light hills wave equation which he derived already during his derivation of light hills aeroacoustic analogy and this light hill wave equation when applying with the correct boundary conditions and correct initial conditions you can use finite element to really compute the same signal sound and sources as it 
it's it's done by Foxman with some mockings. Uh, also for moving bodies, it simply needs the finite element algorithm uh, to take care of. Uh, thank you for watching this video about the uh, light tails uh, analogy and how it evolved through the time and how it's connected to the finite element simulation.